Hi everyone, thanks for coming to this first ever online version of Linux Plumbers. When we first started talking about moving online, we were wondering if anybody would actually be interested in online Linux Plumbers. I'm pleased to say that we have been blown away by the response for participation. We sold out several times, and we have a great selection of talks and microconferences for you. For those who don't know the story about why exactly we're called plumbers, uh, plumbers was chosen to describe the work that needs to happen to tie big separate things together. This is things like where hardware meets software, or kernel systems, subsystems come together, or kernel and user space meet. Plumbing is usually invisible when it's working, but when it's not, you really notice. Plumbers has always been about getting the community together to solve current problems. This year, one of those problems included what we were going to use for our virtual platform. As an open source conference, we really wanted to stay true to our utes and use an open source platform. And in a true open source fashion, we also turned to the community to help us test. For the first time ever, we ran two town halls to give us an idea about how our virtual platform would work. So thank you to everybody who showed up to help make plumbers better and gave us a better idea about how exactly this whole thing would work. We, would also, we also could not hold plumbers without all of our sponsors. Thank you Facebook for being a diamond sponsor. Thank you NetApp, IBM, and Western Digital for being platinum sponsors. Thank you ARM and Microsoft for being gold sponsors. Thank you AMD and Red Hat for being silver sponsors. Thank you Collabor for being Catchbox sponsor. I'm sure next year we'll be back together in person and throwing the Catchboxes at each other. And a very special thank you to the event staff at the Linux Foundation for providing a lot of work behind the scenes uh, to help support us in bringing this conference together. While this is an online conference, all of our existing rules do apply as they would at an in-person conference, and this includes our anti-harassment policy. This policy covers everything that is said in chat and on our virtual conferences. This is something we do take seriously as we want this to be a positive experience for everybody. If you would like to make a report, you can do so in the Report Abuse channel in Rocket Chat, or you can email contact at linuxplumbersconf.org. Both of these will go to the planning committee. If for some reason you, you do not feel comfortable making a report to the planning committee, please feel free to reach out to Angela Brown, VP of Events at the Linux Foundation. And absolutely none of this could happen without the support of the entire committee. As chair, my job has really been to support everybody else in doing the work to bring this uh, conference together. Building up a virt virtual platform, even based on an open source project, is not an easy task, and we would not be here today without a lot of hard work. So if you see any of these people, please make sure you say thanks and later give them a high five or offer them a beverage. Our online platform this year is called Big Blue Button. This is an open source platform that was originally designed for academia, but it turns out this also works really well for facilitating the type of discussions that makes plumbers so unique. To get the best experience out of the platform, we're going to ask everybody to keep your microphone and camera off unless you're speaking. You're strongly encouraged to use your camera and uh, turn on your camera to do the equivalent of raising your hand, so to give moderators not moderators an idea about who wants to speak, and so you can also do this to get attention. Big Blue Button does have a listen-only mode, and you're encouraged to use that if you don't actually want to be talking or discussing, because it does reduce the burden on clients. But, and we, and we know that even at in-person conferences, people may only want to listen at times. But again, Plumbers is heavily discussion-based and interaction-based, so you are strongly encouraged to participate and ask questions. There's a notes section in Big Blue Button that is secretly just an etherpad behind the scenes. You are encouraged to take notes somewhere, either in uh, the etherpad or somewhere else. Steve, our microconference organizer, will be reaching out to all the microconference leads afterwards to ask what was discussed. So you need to be taking notes somewhere. There's also a chat feature in Big Blue Button that is separate from our, our other Rocket Chat. You're feel free to use both chats as you see fit. We do have a participant guide on our website with more details, including troubleshooting tips for Big Blue Button. Uh, a common issue we've seen with Big Blue Button is not picking up the right video camera, camera or audio device if you have multiple available. 
So if you're having problems, please follow that guide, or you can ask on the Help Desk channel on Rocket Chat. Uh, we have a very full schedule ahead of us. Our in-person plumbers is usually three days, but because we're virtual, we decided to expand this to five days and go a slightly shorter time each day. The full schedule with detailed breakdown of what the tracks are going to be discuss discussing is available on the website. We are very happy to see many microconferences coming back for multiple years for even more discussions. And we're also excited to host uh, the Application Ecosystem Microconference for the first time. We're also excited to have the GNU tools, tools track for the first time. One of the pr purposes of Plumbers is to bring developers from different subsystems together to talk about problems uh, th that they both face. And so to have so many different uh, people from low-level hardware all the way up to printing is absolutely amazing. All of our systems are scheduled to start at the same time each day at 2 p.m. UTC. We do realize that this is very early for some people and also very late, so thank you for those who are contributing outside of your usual hours. Microconference runners are strongly encouraged to stay on schedule and end on time. While we know we're not necessarily constrained about things like coffee breaks or lunch, sitting in front of a screen for hours and then does get very tiring. And I also know there are certain microconferences that would in fact go on for eight hours if we let them. You know who you are. We do have hack rooms available. Uh, these are open rooms that anybody can use for conversations that are going longer or other ideas or things that pop up as discussion. These are based on a first come first serve basis, so please be a little bit mindful as you use them. As with our in-person conferences, Plumbers is going to be recorded and there's also going to be a live stream. So please be mindful about what you are saying. Again, remember the code of conduct. But also remember, this is going to be used for future references about what exactly you signed up to do. And we do, and as mentioned, we do have a separate chat system called Rocket Chat. There is going to be a, a room for each microconference, so feel free to join any of those you'd like. And this is also going to serve as our hallway track for any informal discussion you want to have. We do realize that a chat system can't replace actual in-person conversa in conversation, but we're going to do our best. The committee will be around for questions during the core hours of plumbers, but the platform itself will be open the entire time. Our virtual platform, Big Blue Button, and our chat system do require a login. You should have an email if you registered how to do that. If you have issues with your logging in, please email contact at linuxplumbersconf.org, and we're going to do our best to help you log in. Also a reminder for speakers, please make sure you've up uploaded your slides. We do try and keep those around for future years as a reference. And again, thank you everybody for coming to Linux Plumbers and making it such a special conference. And we hope you have a great experience.